Welcome back to Beat Digger Blast Off. Let's run through the second half of last Friday night's Brush University game from Beat Digger Stadium. Well, it's an onside kick, and the ball's recovered by Brush and Roy Grauberger, and there's a flag down. Boy, it looked like he had it past the 10 yard marker. First and 10 for the 48 of University. Maltos to hand it off to Ely. Breaks a tackle to the 40 yard line. Back to the inside to the 30. He's racing to the 20, the 15, 10, the 5. And does he score? Touchdown! Dan Palmer tackles Chris Ely, but it's in the end zone. Ely goes the distance. 48 yards, and the Beat Diggers lead 19 to 13. There's the snap. It's down. The kick is up. Portese's extra point is good. 11.47 to go, third quarter. Brush 20, University 13, and this one is a squib kick headed towards the sideline, fielded at the 30-yard line, and down at around the 35-36. Let's see if we get a number over there by one of the men on the exterior. That was Will Dillon for University. Flack to hand it off to Dan Palmer, running off right tackle, back towards the middle, driving to the 45, first down to the 47-yard line. That's a gain of around 11. Palmer will get the football running towards the outside. Breaks a tackle and nearly a second as he's down at around the 50. Second down and six. University at the 50. And the handoff to Palmer running right. And he drives to the 45-yard line. Third down and one. University at the brush, 45. And Seth Flack with a long count. Hands off to Palmer. First down. Right up the gut to the 41. Gaining four on the play. And Adrian Cardenas made the tackle along with Isaac Brost. First and ten Bulldogs at the beat digger 41. Flack in a shotgun with Palmer to his left. And Flack will keep it himself running to his left to the 35 to the 30. Hits the left sideline to the 25 still in bounds. And he stuck out of bounds near the 20 yard line. And another productive gain by Seth Flack as Jared Spooner drives him out of bounds. First and 10 for University at the Bead Digger 24-yard line. Backs in an eye. And Seth Flack to hand it off to Palmer running off right tackle inside the 20 to around the 18-yard line. Rico Portese made the play, but it was a six-yard gain. Bead Diggers are coming with a blitz. Flack hand off to Palmer. First down across the 15 as he drives to around the 13-yard line. University did tie the game on a 10-yard run by Dan Palmer moments ago. We're tied at 20, and that was a nine-play, 65-yard drive in four minutes and 18 seconds. The Bead Diggers, though, have the football at the... 40-yard line of University, a second down and nine after a one-yard run by Chris Ely. We have five minutes to go in the third. Brush 20, University 20 on second down. And the throw over the middle is caught by Ryan right to the 20-yard line. First down to the 19. He was wide open at Arturo Matos. Found him for a gain of 21. First down and 10 for the Bead Diggers with the football. At the 19-yard line of University. There's the handoff. The boss from running to his right. He cannot get around Dan Palmer, who throws him down at the line of scrimmage for no gain. On second down and 10 for the 19. The Bead Diggers in University territory. Jared Spooner in motion to the right. And Maltos on the counter to Ely, running left to the 10-yard line. Goes for the sideline to the 5 for the pylon. And does he score? Yes! Touchdown! Touchdown for Chris Ely! From 19 yards away, and the Bead Diggers have reclaimed the advantage at 26 to 20. Off the hold of Arturo Maltos. There's a snap. It's down. The kick is up, and the kick is good. 348 remaining third quarter. Rush 27, University 20. And the kickoff taken at the 25-yard line, a short return of about five yards. The Bead Diggers attempting to keep the ball out of Dan Palmer's hands. And Isaac Brost, I believe, made the tackle. And the football for University will be at the 30-yard line with 3.42 to go in the third. Long count for University. Flack has it. We'll hand it off on the right side to Will Dillon. He is wrapped up after a gain of five yards to the 35 as Justin Burns and Jared Spooner around the football on second and five from the 35 for University. Brush up 27 to 20. And there is the gift to Palmer running wide to the left, back to the inside. He bades a beat digger. He's down at the 39. 
Picks up four yards on the play. Inside of 225 to go. The handoff to Palmer. Hit at the line of scrimmage, but he's so strong, Dave Yerrig. He drives Justin Burns an extra three or four yards to the 44 and picks up five. And that's a university first down as the drive continues. First and ten from the 44. Flack in a shotgun. Has got the football. And Flack will keep it himself, running to his left, cutting back towards the middle. And then he's tackled at around the 48-yard line, a gain of four. And it looked like Colt Kemble made the play along with Jared Spooner. Flack in a shotgun. Has got the football on the option. He'll pitch it to Palmer. Palmer's got a first down inside the 40. And he's dragged down from behind by the jersey at the 35-yard line by Cole Kemble. But again, another productive gain, 17 yards and a university first down. And this time, Flack will hand it off to Palmer, running on the outside to the left. Another first down back to the 22-yard line. And this is too easy for university. And give him another 13 yards for Dan Palmer, who is now putting up some big numbers. 35 seconds to go in the third, up by seven. First and 10, University at the beat digger, 22. Flack and a shotgun will keep it himself running to the left. Has got little sideline and is still able to spin his way across the 20, maybe to the 18-yard line. Before Heidel Villa made the play, it was Tyler Booth trying to force him out of bounds. They'll give him four yards, second down and six. And that will be the final play of the third quarter with the score. Brush 27, University 20, second down and six for University. At the bead digger, 18-yard line, and a shotgun is Flack. Dillon in motion to the left. And Flack will hand it off to Palmer. Big hole up the middle to the 10. First down as he spins to around the 8-yard line, a gain of 10. And Chris Ely made the tackle along with Tyler Booth. First down and goal for the Bulldogs at the 8-yard line. Backs in an eye. And Flack will hand it off to Palmer. Running to the outside. He's got a block to the five. Stumbles to the one and scores as he dives over the goal line from eight yards away. Dan Palmer has scored his fourth touchdown of the game. University once again to within one. It's 27-26. Awaiting the snap. There it is. It's down. The kick is up and blocked. I don't know if Spooner got it that time. He dove, but I think another beat digger might have got his hand in on that extra point. 11-29 to go in the game. Brush 27, University 26. Deep to receive is Jared Spooner. And Palmer will kick it high and short. Spooner will field it at the 16. Straight ahead to the 20, to the right sideline, to the 30-yard line. Then he's down right there. A return of 14 yards for Jared Spooner. Maltos under center. Since Ryan Dreitz in motion to the left. And the handoff running right as Ely, a huge hole to the outside of the 40. He's got the 50, and he's knocked out of bounds in beat digger territory. They'll mark him down at the 50, a gain of 20. As Shane Mendoza made the play, the university defense was completely fooled. First and 10 with a football at midfield. The beat diggers up by a point, 27-26. In the backfield are Ely and Bostrom. Maltos with a long count, and do they have to call timeout? No. In fact, it'll be delay of game against Brush. First and 15 for Brush at their own 45-yard line. Jared Spooner in motion to the left, has the football on the end around. He scoots to the left sideline of the 50 to the 45, back to the inside of the 35, across the field of the 30. Spooner across the field, back again to the 20. Spooner to the 15-yard line, breaks out of a tackle, and he's down all the way at around the 9-yard line for Jared Spooner. That's a gain of 46 yards in a beat digger first down. First and goal for the beat diggers at the eight yard line. Maltos to hand it off to Bostrom to the six and he's down. Off left tackle, it looked like Bostrom had more daylight, but all of a sudden Grant Martin took him down to the turf. Gain of only two on second and goal. Man in motion to the right is Carlos Sanchez and there's the give on the right side to Tyler Booth and he's got a yard and that's it third down and goal from the five with a back split and University jumped that'll place the ball at the two and a half yard line Maltos on third down will bootleg to the left and he dies for the end zone he scores Arturo Maltos with a nifty cut back towards the middle from two yards out 
and the Beat Diggers back up by a touchdown. It's 33-26. There's the snap. It's down. Maltos' kick. A check that Portese's kick is a rocket, and it's good. 8.55 to go in the game. Brush, 34, University 26. Portese will squib the football, and it's going to be fielded and down on one knee at the 29-yard line by Zach Cowper. Flack with a football will give it to Palmer. He's got little running room and he's down after a gain of two at around the 30. Roy Grauberger with the initial penetration. Cole Campbell and Isaac Brost also in on the tackle. A deep handoff to Palmer. Big hole up the middle and he nearly broke the tackle. Big, big play. Heidel Villa able to trip him up at around the 35 yard line. Only a gain of five, but if Villa doesn't make the play, then Palmer has another score. On third down and four, and Flack to hand it off to Palmer, running left back to the inside. He's got a first down across the 40 to the 44-yard line. Give him eight yards in the play. Cole Kimball was able to grab Palmer around the ankles and bring him down to the ground. And Flack this time will roll to his right, looking to throw, and he throws on the run. that passes incomplete. Excellent coverage by Chris Ely. Out on the intended receiver, Adam Hayes. Second down and 10 for the Bulldogs at their own 44-yard line with 6.53 remaining in the game, and a shotgun is Flack awaiting the snap. He's got it, and he will keep it run to his left, back towards the middle. Flack's got a first down, scooting around that left sideline to around the 40-yard line to the 39, maybe. And boy, the beat diggers bit, and it was a gain of 17 yards. First and 10 at the brush, 39. In motion to the right is Mendoza. Flack and a shotgun. As the football will hand it off to Palmer, looking for a block, and he squeezes his way to around the 34, running off left tackle Adrian Cardenas. Made the tackle, but it's a gain of five, and the seventh play of the drive is coming up. And we are inside of six and a half minutes. Second down and five from the 34. Flack under center this time. Hands off to Palmer, running right, and he's hit after a short gain of about a yard maybe. Roy Grauberger with an excellent play. And Flack hands off to Palmer. First down, back towards the middle at the 20. Flack inside the 20 to around the 17. Jared Spooner. Comes up with a tackle, and it's a gain of 15 yards, and the university drive continues. From the 18, there's the handoff to Mendoza on the end around, and he's going to be hit for a loss. Again, Roy Grauberger with penetration. Taken down at around the 19, maybe even back to the 20. We have four minutes to go in the game. Second down and 12 for University at the brush 20-yard line. Mendoza in motion to the right. Flack again in a shotgun. Option to the right, will run towards the middle and wants to pitch late, does to Palmer, Palmer to the 15, Palmer carrying beat diggers inside the 10 to around the 6, an amazing pitch as Flack was going down and Palmer has a first down to the 6, a gain of 14. Flack this time, oh, handed off to Palmer, running wide to the left, breaks a tackle, leaps over a defender and scores from 6 yards out. University to within two at 34-32. Palmer has scored his fifth touchdown of the night. University going for two and the tie. Look for Flack to keep it. And Flack is in a shotgun. Palmer to his left. There is the snap. And Flack will keep it. He'll run up the middle. He'll leap. He'll score. The two-point conversion is good. And University has tied the game at 34 with 3-13 to go. A low line drive takes a hop, lands in the hands of Chris Ely, running to his left to the 35-yard line, dives across the 40 to around the 41. Adam Hayes made the tackle, but the beat diggers with excellent field position. First and 10 for Brush at their own 41-yard line. With 3-10 to go in the game, Ryan Dreitz in motion to the left, and there's the give to Ely, running right to the 45-yard line. It's a gain of four, some hard hitting out there on both sides of the football as Trevor Mendoza, the 5'10", 205-pound sophomore, made the tackle, but the beat diggers will take the four yards. Second down and six, brush at their own 45-yard line. Dreitz again in motion to the left. Maltos, the pitch left to Ely. He's got a block, cuts it back to the inside, a first down to the 45, and he is down at the 42-yard line. 
but again a positive gain of 13 yards for Chris Ely. And Maltos to hand it off right up the gut to Tyler Booth, and he drives across the 35 to around the 33. Shane Mendoza grabbed him around the ankles, but it's a gain of close to nine. Second down and one, and we are under two minutes to go in this football game. Deadlocked at 34 from Beat Digger Stadium. Maltos to hand it off on the counter, and boy, hit behind the line of scrimmage. Looked like it was Chris Ely who ran into his blocker. That's a loss of a yard and a half. And now the clock's at a minute 29, and Randy Dreitz calls a timeout. And Maltos will hand it off to Booth. He's got a first down running across the left side to the 30-yard line. A gain of five, and it appeared that a beat digger flinched, but there was no call. A minute 20 to go. First and 10 brush at the University 30. They're not in field goal range yet. Maltos to hand it off to Booth, right up the middle of the 20-yard line. Breaks the tackle to 15, to the 10. He's got a first down as he's tackled inside the 10-yard line. Dan Palmer with a touchdown-saving tackle, but it's a gain of 21 for Tyler Booth, a first and goal for the Beat Diggers. First and goal for the Beat Diggers at the 9-yard line. 54 seconds to go, tied at 34. And Maltos on the counter to Ely, and he dives to the 5-yard line. The tackle was made by Trevor Mendoza. The clock continues to roll. University not calling timeouts whatsoever. 36 seconds remaining. Carlos Sanchez checks out of the game. Down to 30 seconds to go. The Bee Diggers have two timeouts remaining. Second and goal from the five. Maltos under center will hand it off right up the gut to Ely. He is stacked up. And the Bee Diggers are going to call a timeout. And... How far did Ely get? I think just a yard to around the four-yard line. 19 seconds remaining in the game. Third and goal from the four. 19 seconds to go in the game. And Maltos to hand it off to Ely across the left side, and he's down at around the line of scrimmage. And Brush calls another timeout with 13 seconds to go. No gain. And that'll be fourth down, fourth and goal. And Maltos to throw to Spooner, touchdown! Over the middle, Jared Spooner, wide open! And with 11 seconds to go, the Beat Diggers lead 40 to 34. Holy Mahungus! You know, Brush just faked the run up the middle, and that's all they've done. And and uh, you have to believe that, well, you know that the university defense, their DBs, their linebackers, they've been ignoring Spooner over there in the slot because they haven't done anything. They threw an 81 dump down here to Dreitz earlier in the game that was successful. That they that time they come out with the 400 formation where they have a flanker and a wide receiver on the right side. Spooner just ran straight down the field. He was wide open, and, and uh, Maltos hit him right on the numbers. And the extra point is good. 41-34 brush. Portese with his hand up. He'll kick that football away from Palmer, and it lands at the 15-yard line. Flack picks it up at the 18, running to his right, heads back to his left. He's got a seam to the outside, and only one beat digger to beat. Down the left sideline to the 50, Roy Grauberger will knock him out of bounds, and the time is out. No time remaining on the clock. And the Beat Diggers have won the game by a score of 41 to 34. Grauberger making the play on the sideline at around the 32 yard line. He might be hurt over there, but the Beat Diggers have won the football game on a touchdown saving tackle. 41 to 34. That's what happened one week ago as the Beat Diggers improved to 2 and 1 overall.